Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Serrano and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Motorola M Moto G Pure right here. You can get this in a lot of carriers, Boost Mobile, Metro, Cricket. You can get it in a ton of different carriers, but this is the actual unlocked model and um, you know, it starts at around $159 right now, but do me a favor before we get started with the video. Let's try to get this video up to 31 likes so we can beat the YouTube algorithm. So every single like helps the channel, but um, make sure you hit the like button on your way in. And if you're brand new to the crew, I truly appreciate you for coming through and kicking it with me real quick. But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So let's just jump into the video right now and take a look at the Moto G Pure, which has been out for a little bit of time now. It's been about four months or or some or so, and it's been a really solid device when it comes to the overall software. And I'll, and I'll get into that in a little bit more detail, but this device will be getting Android 12, which is something that's pretty cool because it's a budget phone and it, it is promised that, that Android 12 update because, you know, they've already listed it as a phone that will be supported with the latest android 12 surface not everyone likes android 12 right but this this update right here that i saw pop up on the moto g pure is just a it's a monthly update and it's the march i don't know if i scraped what i did right here but let's see okay cool so you can see right here we do have the phone and it's updating the phone right now currently as we speak let me just hit this button right here for the wi-fi and um let me just go into settings because i wanted to show you how to get to the update you go to settings real quick and obviously i'm not trying to insult your intelligence i know how you i know you know how to do it but i just want to show you for the purposes of this video so you go into that option right there and it says you can, it says right here that I installed the new off software update for the uh, Moto G Pure right here. So here it is right here. It is the, uh, congratulations, you successfully installed the latest version, which is the Android 11 March 1st, 2022. Uh, Android security patch, which includes updates of Android security patches through the 1st of March, 2022. So it doesn't get into like a whole lot of detail actually on what it does but obviously if you were waiting for the update to arrive it's actually been um it's just arrived it's just it's just came through it's just uh made an appearance on the moto g pure which is something that's pretty cool right because a lot of people look out for these updates so i'll make sure i keep you guys locked in when anything else happens but obviously we're getting you know some pretty decent software on here it's it's running really nice with the three gigabytes 32 gigabytes of internal storage and that's what i like about motorola devices is that they're always uh they they always have a little bit of, they don't have too much bit of a lag even the budget devices none of them do actually but some this one sometimes it will have loading um slowdowns or whatever if you have too many apps in the background we do have wi-fi calling on here screen recording screencast night mode you know a lot of features on here as to, that we can get into but you know I, I you know i do i do enjoy using motorola budget devices you can see right here the system software is actually updating right here at the, the bottom menu right here where it says finishing software update so let's just go into this device a little bit but Obviously, everything has been running pretty smooth for the most part. I haven't really had any issues with this guy or your Google apps on here. You have your motor app, moto apps on here, games, FM radio files, you know, stuff like that seems to work pretty quickly. You get your Motorola notes, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really use that too much, right? Because I have the Google Keep, which is kind of, you know, universal. So, you know, it's pretty cool, but. You know you do get a ton of different options to mess around with but obviously this is going to be that 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 motorola uh classic android vibe when you when you first touch it you you got your uh, what i like here is that that clock right here you could hit that 
and it changes the weather right there i really like that how it gives you those little options right there it's like a kind of like a scrolling widget almost so that, I, I really like how they they make that with the clock that scrolling widget i don't think this device has sc the scrolling widget feature but just for that that clock it does the moto clock right if you go down all the way at the bottom you know you should be able to see moto clock i'm not sure if it's in system shortcuts let me see here it is moto widget right there at the very bottom so you know you can mess around with that pretty cool you can change the size of it but um you know for the most part this is this is a march update which will be basically let's test out the fingerprint sensor to see if there's any difference one two three that's actually quicker one two three one two three it does appear to be a little bit more stable now that i'm looking at the fingerprint sensor one two three okay now it's taking a little bit of time it's kind of inconsistent but it, you can see this this is still loading on the interface so this is not the finished product right now it's still kind of warm out the oven right now because you can see that line still going across the screens meaning that it's still finishing the update so this isn't the performance that you're seeing on the screen isn't reflective of the finished product yet so i just wanted to mention that right because you can see right here it's still it's still loading on the screen so it's almost done like uh it's pretty much almost done right here but you get your you know you all your regular features your 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 dialer right here so you do, do get the phone dialer and you can see it's still loading so it's, it's not finished with everything as far as the speeds and long hold the camera you get selfie video or portrait for the quick settings but let's go to the multitasking and see if there's anything different okay so you get screenshot down here if you hit here you still get the split screen with the pin option um i did a tips and tricks video so if you're trying to figure out some new features make sure you watch that just click um the list of videos that i made just for you down below but you can see you get that that double option so you can you do get i think you get one third of the way right here as well so you could do one third of the way and pretty cool stuff here so let's go bring that back down and uh yeah so the let's go back and let's go back to that multitasking option right here that window and you get the clear all at the very end as well so everything looks pretty good for the most part it should be finished up with the update now so everything this is the finished product right here right now when we go to the gaming mode right here for PUBG, you can see that they got twitch now stream twitch uh they got settings right here add an app right here so i guess you can add let me update this real quick okay that that's pretty cool that they have those features right there they have add an app they have twitch let's just update PUBG real quick but you know this is pretty cool though so i'm just putting it out there that this is a six month old device so you can get Andrew those updates with this thing and um as far as the graphics it's medium and smooth so it's not going to be like a real crazy performer when it comes to gaming but it, it can hold up it will hold up it's a little bit laggy just keep that in mind it's not going to be the greatest performance that you've ever seen in your entire life So just it's that's actually so far it's been pretty good when it comes to the um performance on here so haven't had any complaints so far but just keep in mind we will have that game time mode as well on here which is pretty cool because if you use game time mode on here um you will be able to like silence notifications you know all types of stuff right so it's been pretty solid so far when it comes to the you know game and as far as the cameras it's going to be a pretty decent experience it's not not going to win any medals or anything like that so 
you know pretty good performance when it comes to this guy i'm actually doing pretty good in this level but let me like close out the game because i could play this forever right but as far as the cameras you get you know that that main camera which is going to be the 13 megapixel around back and you can see the detail right here and some mediocre light let's just see right here pretty pretty decent it's still processing down at the bottom right here so it, that took a minute to process but let me go back and let's take a look at that photo so it's not even as my last photo which is weird but anyway let's just um let's go to photos and see if it's there it's not there i think it, it what happened was it, it happened too quick for the phone to take the picture let me do that one more time and look at look at all the other settings we're getting so spot color portrait cutout panorama video and photos and then you get the front facing portrait on here so that time it did save the photo and you can see the details right here on the face and then like I said, you get the game time mode right here on the phone. So when you're playing games and stuff like that, it will enter that. You will also get interactive wallpapers on this version that I have. It has like this own app for the interactive wallpapers right inside my app tray automatically. And then the games option right here. So you can go into the games option and you can just kind of mess around with the settings right here. You, you get block calls, block notifications, you know, things like that. Disable adaptive brightness, reject calls, screen record settings. And so, you know, so far it's been a pretty good solid phone after six months of use. But if you're using the Gmo um, Pure right now, let me know down below. But also, if you made it this far, say I'm still here in the comment section. So I know you're still watching the video right now, but you know pretty solid phone it's going to have a g25 processing chip which is an octa-core processing chip 6.5 inches for the display um, um, 4000 milliamp hour battery which is going to be one of the best parts about it it does have this textured power button right here type c for charging um, we do get dual microphones one at the top one at the bottom and then obviously the display is just going to be uh it has a chin it has a slight chin on here so i just want to mention that you might that might kind of turn off some people but for me um the screen has been pretty solid enough where it's not something that's been a turn off in my opinion but let me know if that's something that would turn you off having a um, big chin like that but you know it, it doesn't bother me whatsoever it's, it's a really nice display for looking at multimedia social media on here you know browsing the web anything like that but um let me know what you guys think about the march update let me know if you got it in the comment section down below also let me know if you had yours um g mobile pure, g g pure from um, boost mobile cricket or uh metro or just unlocked or maybe even straight talk right i know a lot of phones sell this device i'm um, carriers sell this device but i'm gonna get right back with you later group peace.